Today in the news, we might have a repeated moment in history, GPU board partners might be late to the party, and it's the best time to build a PC. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. Do you remember how cocky Jensen was a couple of months ago? I mean, when PC World asked him if chip prices would go down, now that the crypto market has crashed, all he had to say was, Moore's Law is dead. And the idea that a chip is going to go down in price is a story of the past. And he then went on to, you know, announce the RTX 40 series where uh, an 80 class card, now the 4080, is selling for 1200 bucks instead of the consistent six to 700 that we were used to seeing. Yeah, that pissed a lot of people off, especially since the performance gains on that 80 card were about the same as the price increase, which, you know, it's not a generational leap. But nothing brings me joy like a little bit of karma. Apparently, the RTX 4080 is selling really poorly compared to the RTX 4090. In fact, the 4090 outsells the 4080 by nearly three and a half times. I mean, a lot of stores have stock in Canada, in the US, the UK, China, and even Germany. And that's despite Nvidia shipping out less than four times the amount of 4080s compared to the 4090s. Like there was 130,000 4090s shipped out at launch compared to 30,000 for the 4080 and it still can't sell. And it's the holiday season after all. And that tells me two things. First, there's always going to be these people for whom money is no object and all they want is the fastest thing around. I have a friend like that who went from 2080 Ti to 3090 to 3090 Ti and now to 4090, you know who you are. And the second thing is a message to you. You can do it, we can do it, we are doing it. It's clear that gamers are finally talking with their wallets. And I suspect that once the RX 7900 series from AMD launches, that we'll see Nvidia with a response. I mean, the 7900 XTX looks like very serious competition and could trigger something similar to what happened in 2013. Because yes, this already happened before. Nvidia once had to lower their prices because of the competition. It didn't seem like it, but they did. NVIDIA released their GTX 780 card in May of 2013. The price of that GPU, 650 bucks. Five months later, in October, Team Red released their R9 290X, my first ever GPU, at 550 bucks. A lot cheaper than the 780, yet the performance was either on par or better most of the time. And there was an R9 290 non-X that was also announced for 400 bucks, and that one would trail just a little bit behind the 780, but for $250 less. So what did Nvidia do? Well, they cut the prices of their GTX 780 within the same week from 650 down to 500 bucks. At the same time, they introduced the 780 Ti for 699 as their new flagship. So hopefully we get the same situation with the RTX 4080, 4090, and of course AMD's 7900 series. So what do you guys think? Think that might happen again? Let me know down below. Speaking of AMD GPUs, we got a tiny little bit of bad news. If you were looking forward to buying a custom GPU from one of AMD's board partners, you might have to wait a little bit extra time. While AMD themselves said that the 7900 series would uh, have AMD and board partners selling on December 13th, the current rumors say that only the reference model will be available for the first week. What's great about that is that reference models are actually sold at MSRP. So if your goal was to spend exactly the MSRP, you can get one. That's great. But if you're looking for a model with better overclocking capabilities and better power options, a lot of the custom cards will have three 8-pin connectors instead of two, which of course gives you more room for overclocking. So if you want one of these, you'll have to wait. How long? Well, like I said earlier, a week apparently. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like the two-slot, two-8-pin design might really just be for the reference models. Every single one that I've seen so far, or that has been publicly announced, looks like a big boy. I mean, look at this power color red devil model. I mean, I know it's their high-end model, but that still looks huge. Oh, little update on that story. Uh, Computer Base reached out to some AIB partners and it looks like some 7900 series will be available on the 13th. Some, so keep that in mind if you don't see the brand that you like. 
Also, in AMD news, damn, that's a lot of AMD news for today. Uh, it looks like if you were in the market for a high-end CPU and you decided to wait until now, you did a good thing. AMD CPUs have been kind of creeping up in price with the uh, last couple of generations. Though, thankfully, this generation, the highest end 7950X, launched a little bit cheaper than we thought at 699 instead of the uh, 799 that we saw for the last generation. Well, now that Intel is more competitive than ever, and I'm guessing thanks to the holiday season two, the 7950X is now down to $549, $150 less than the uh, MSRP. That's the MSRP of the 7900X. Now, this is the Black Friday deal, so you might wanna jump on it while you can if that was your target CPU. But damn, it looks like there's never been a better time to upgrade. You should also consider AMD's last gen of CPUs since these are heavily, heavily discounted too. Oh, and if you want a budget gaming PC, here's my perfect combo. The best combo currently in terms of performance per dollar is a B550 motherboard for 80 bucks, a 5600X for about 160, some DDR4, 3600 CL16 for about 80 bucks, or even less sometimes, a nice five to 600 watt power supply for about 50 bucks, and an RX 6600 for sub 200. That's under 600 for all of the major components. And if I build it out with a one terabyte NVMe drive and a case, we're sub 700 for a full gaming PC. That's insane. Back then, when the 3060 launched, you would pay more than that just for the 3060. Real quick, I had to show you this TikTok. Let's watch it together. Look, puts in the RAM. Don't do it one-handed, man. Don't do it one-handed. And, ouch. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the catch up today. It was uh, a little bit bigger than usual. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.